So, I mean, this thing, this is a beauty. This thing is about the same cost as the Honda Accord. What's up guys? Today I'm in front of this $2 million home that's right behind me in Las Vegas. There's not many times when we come across million dollar homes. I know in the last few videos, you guys have seen a couple. So when I come across any, um, I'm gonna show you guys because there's some really cool features in these multi-million dollar homes. So sometimes they have some really cool water features. They have gorgeous backyards. Um, the massive bathrooms are very luxurious and they might have some materials that you guys like um, or some really cool designs and for me that is inspiration because i always like upgrading my homes so i might want to copy that full so for some of you guys who are just like me um, and you guys want to copy that too you know you can you might find something that you really like in these videos so let's go inside and check it out all right right off the bat i love this front yard it's almost like a courtyard and it gives it more of a luxury feeling because it's so separate, you know, because it's got this gate here. And sometimes the kids or whoever it is can just be out here instead of having to worry about them running into the street. But I'm excited to see inside this house. This door is amazing. Um, it's, it's definitely higher than normal and it's got that arch. I really love the designs. Just knowing that that's different, I know this home is going to be beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Look at this craftsmanship on the hardwood flooring. That looks really beautiful. This is what I'm going to do today, guys. I'm going to give you a little bit of a house tour. And uh, I'm here today with my broker. Here he is. This is Ryan. You guys met him in the last video um, when he was at the office. So he manages about over 300 agents. And he has about maybe four that work directly with him. And I'm fortunate enough to be number five. So I'm very grateful for you know, being here and he's blessing us with this house so you guys can see it as well. Um, so it's very hard to get into houses like these. So I'm very happy I get to share it with you guys. One thing that I noticed in here is the stove top and the stove top doesn't have an oven in the bottom like most homes, but also th this stove guys, this is not just any stove, it's a wolf, okay? If you guys don't know what a wolf is, this is pretty much a dream kitchen for any chef or someone who cooks a lot. For me, because I went to culinary school, I would love this type of kitchen, right. this kind of stove, because right here, I can cook carne asada tacos on my griddle or breakfast and eggs. And with this guy here, it's just like an industrial kitchen. And when you work and cook in a real kitchen, it's way different from home. I can make my best work in these type of um, settings. These pot fillers, very, very trendy right now. You guys know Studio McGee, she does this all the time. And I think it's a very nice touch. So Wolf Appliances again over here. Yeah. This one right here is actually a steamer. Then we got the oven and then a warming drawer. Wow. That's awesome. You know, something that I've always wanted in my home are Wolf Appliances and something called a salamander. A salamander is where you would put it right here. It's like an oven and there's a big fire here. So when you finish off your steaks or you're making something crispy, it just perfects the top. Almost like broiling something in the oven. So, so the, uh, this is awesome for kids. These are two uh, refrigerated drawers. Perfect if the kids have juice boxes, put fruit in there. So that's, stuff that the little ones can get to really easy. That's a very expensive refrigerator for juice. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's a nice touch though. They stay away from the regular refrigerator. That's amazing. Well, where is the regular refrigerator? So, I mean, this thing, this is a beauty. This thing is about the same cost as the Honda Accord. So, it's wow. zero refrigerator on one side, the freezer on the other. I thought that was a convection oven, <laughs> like where you bake stuff and nope, the, nope. the souffles go up. Wow. Off to the primary bedroom? Yeah. Is this a two story home? It is a two story home. It really lives like a one story. That's what most people like about it is you have. Uh, the primary bedroom downstairs with another guest bedroom downstairs, but whether you're 65 and you have knee problems or you're a young athlete, um, your primary bedroom is separate from everybody else's. And obviously this one has the extra 
living space, yeah. which can be used That's as amazing. a sitting room. You could use it as a small fitness area. That's huge. But same thing in this bedroom. I mean, floor to ceiling paneling, you have yeah. crown molding, custom lighting fixtures. That's awesome. This is what I like about Vegas the most. They have so much space for the master bath. This is way bigger than, you know, my master bedroom in my old house. So the walk-in shower has stacked marble. Wow. You know what's crazy is that the uh, that wall right there, the, the materials that they put on there, that looks like what's from exterior walls yeah, of a house. That's exactly what it is. Same thing down the hallway. These all started as uh, recessed lights. Yeah. Obviously, the designer brought them down with small chandeliers. It's got shiplap on the ceiling. Wow. You want to see the backyard? Let's go for it. All right. So dual courtyards, it's awesome. Once October, November comes around and you can open up the whole house without it being 110 degrees out. One thing that I did notice is that Vegas has a lot of um, openings to go outside to give it the feel of one whole house. And they're able to do that because there's not many flies in Vegas for some reason. When we are in LA, the moment you open the door, you got 10 flies in your house. But here you can leave it open for a whole day and nothing. It's a very low maintenance backyard because of the artificial turf. Yeah. Surface of the pool is quartz as well, um, which is easier on the feet than a traditional Wait, plaster. You mean inside here is yeah. quartz? Yep, the whitish wow. blue area is quartz. Okay. All right, look at this guys. We are at the staircase. This is what you call the foyer. This is the foyer room. Uh, I would say maybe 30 feet ceilings. Yeah, at least 30 feet, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to get those spider webs out in the corners over there, but this is nice. You got the wood and the carpet so you don't slip because when my parents stay over, you know, they're gonna be on different levels and you don't want them to fall, you know, cause they're old, right? So. This is one of my favorite features. It's the upstairs loft, family room. Yeah. Just to get it away from the rest of the house. You have some pretty decent views out the window. Killer view off of the patio. How often would you stay in this, this loft area? Daily. Really? Daily to get away from the everything else. Put on a good TV show, football. Yeah. Football but then game. your master is downstairs. Yeah. I don't mind stairs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So every, you guys have seen every new build that we've looked at, they all have this type of loft. And me and Christine are always thinking, what do we use it for? We don't need two to three living rooms. So it's, it's nice that people actually use it. All right, so out in this balcony, we have this mountain that looks very beautiful. I'm sure um, if someone like Bart lived here, he would be climbing that mountain every day. Same thing as Joe. So this is a house that they might like. Something where you have a mountain in your backyard. I actually used to have a mountain in my backyard when I used to live in Glendale, California, yeah. and there would be nothing but coyotes and deers coming down. Are you serious? Yeah, I lost that's a dog awesome. that way. Ah, <laughs> He's like, good. that's awesome. <laughs> that's not awesome. I'm a dog lover. This house just keeps going. It does. Another side patio or side balcony, I guess, guys. Very nice. Oh, you got you have the sliding door and the door from the hallway. I always have a hard time figuring out which kid is going to stay in this room with these access to the outsides because I don't want Leia's boyfriends coming in here. I don't want Enzo hopping out and going to a street race, you know, so I'm just saying, I mean, not like I did any of that stuff. All right, guys, so that was the majority of the house. I hope you guys found something that you like and then you could model it and do it for your home because something as simple as, you know, this backsplash and making that type of design where uh, the tiles are angled. I love that. So hopefully one day I can do something like that. I would love to do it myself and then show you guys too. So one day. I hope you guys like this, uh, this house. And thank you, sir, for showing everybody. Appreciate the opportunity. Of course. Absolutely. Hello. Who's that? Me. 
Who's that? Leah. <laughs> Hi. Hey. It's Leah and me. How was school today? Fun. It was fun. I got some chips. You got some chips. <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> so hungry. Thank you. For me. Thank you. I ate your finger a little bit. Sorry. Okay, you want to get out? Yeah. Let's go. Hi, buddy. What are you guys doing? You gonna dance? Dance. Whoa. All right, all right. <laughs> they really like being in front of the camera now. I think so. Finally, what? they can start vlogging on their own now. You want to vlog on your own? No, you just want to dance? Yeah. You want your own camera? So you can. What's up, guys? Um, that tour, the house tour was amazing. It was, I hope you guys really enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun shooting that. I wanna do a lot more of these. Um, let me know if you wanna see a whole new channel. I wanna do a whole new just real estate channel just so you guys can see that. A channel that's only about houses and real estate and that's it, just house tours. I think that'd be pretty awesome. Let me know if you guys wanna do that. I'll start creating one, you guys subscribe to it. Right now, we're going to eat some all-you-can-eat sushi uh, because we're about an hour and a half after the kids' dinner time. So they got to be starving. Christina suggested, I mean, she's starving. And uh, today, Leia is three because kids being under-eat free. So we got a three-year-old today. This is supposed to be a yellowtail with yuzu. Let me focus on this. Alright, okay. So this is supposed to be a yellowtail with yuzu. I didn't know it was going to be a big fat jalapeno on it. Yeah. So I can smell the yuzu. Okay, it's very light. I don't even want to dip sauce on it because it's probably got a lot of flavor. Yo! Really? That's really good. You gotta try it. Okay. Mm. Okay, so it's got the yuzu pepper. So it's got like a vinaigrette type flavor with some peppery. The jalapeno kick. The jalapeno is so thin that it meshes with the meat. That's really good. You try it, no soy sauce. Look, Christina can't handle, oh, sorry, it almost came out. Christina can't handle a lot of uh, yellowtail and tuna, but I want to make her try this. Okay. No soy sauce. No soy sauce. How is it? It's pretty good. The jalapeno is kind of spicy. Um, it's pretty good. I feel like a lot of the food is very like subtle here in the flavor and stuff, but it's, it's pretty good. It's kind of spicy now. <laughs> Some of the food that the kids are eating right now is this. It's a salmon kama, which is a salmon collar. Very juicy when it's baked. And then I got myself a spider hand roll. That's a blue soft shell crab that's been fried, made into a hand roll. That's like my new thing that I love eating every Japanese place I go to. They say when you love somebody, you share your favorite food. Wow, thank you. It was really good. I just didn't want to get really full from this. It's so filling. It sounds crunchy. Mm. Oh, it's good. It's really good. Is it hot? No. But it's still good. That's masado. This is tobiko. You like tobiko? Wow. <laughs> That's fish eggs. Mm. <laughs> you like it? Wow. Big bite, big bite, big bite. She's working her way into it. You can do it, Leia. <gasps> Holy moly. Good job. Our favorite sushi came in. 
And that is the uni. We always have to end our dinner on a good note. It smells, oh, it smells really fresh. Okay. It's good. Oh, yeah. This is why I, I wanted to come here. Because of this. It's really good. I like how Christina said that's the last thing we eat. But look at all the food on our table that we have still. That's a lot. I like this place because they have a huge variety of things that you can order. But I think we got a little carried away. But we did good. Like, it's almost all empty. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Just finished dinner at the all you can eat sushi spot and we noticed because it was raining earlier That is the biggest rainbow I've ever seen in my life. You see that? Look how big it is. That is something we never see in LA. It's wow You can see it go all the way to behind the building That is crazy. It's so thick and bold Do you see it Leia? You don't see it? It says, I see it and I love it. Really? Wow. Leia says she doesn't. Are you sure you don't see it? All right, guys. After a nice all-you-can-eat meal, we are back at another home. This guy is almost $2 million. Uh, this one is located in Summerlin uh, in a gated community. I really like the gated communities. Um, the last one we went to, I wish I showed you guys, but they had a security guard. I had to get a parking pass and put it on my... Uh, front windshield almost like as if I was going to Disneyland. So this one wasn't so much just a regular gated community But we're looking at right behind me a uh, four bedroom and it is about 2,500 square feet So it's gonna be very very nice and I'm excited to show you guys. So let's go inside So we got a two-car garage and in the front of the home, you know, it's a I would say a little bit of a, I don't know if they call it a courtyard in the front. Um, we have one of those for our house and it's on the side. So I believe, yes, it's called a courtyard as well. So I am meeting um, someone from my group. His name is John. And he's the one who is listing this house for sale. Ooh, this is a beautiful home. Look at this amazing open concept. Large living room. And you got the kitchen and a dining table right behind it. It's very, very nice. I think my favorite part about this house so far, I initially just walked in, I, I was gravitating towards the floor. The hardwood floor is so nice. And if you see this, oh, it feels great. You can feel the texture. A lot of times you don't even get to feel that. That's nice. Hello. Hello again. How are you guys doing? So guys, this is, this is John. I think you met him in the office. And uh, this is the house that he's listed for sale. So in our group, we are so active. There are so many homes. You guys, if you want to hit up John, uh, you'll see the, the website link in the description box. So you can click that. Check out everyone in our group. Everyone's got so many active listings. So if you guys are interested, just take a look. I love this right here. Is this the three door they call a stacking door? Stackable sliders i'm so excited because i actually have this for my house too and i haven't been able to open it yet so oh that's nice when they built it there's actually like a pony wall bar here okay two pillars that go to the ceiling and then this whole area is like its own little area right the uh person who originally purchased this house had it custom made where they didn't do that here. So it was a nice big open floor plan. That person fell out of escrow and then my client bought the house. So Mike, this is a one owner property. Nice. There's only been one owner so far. Is this up here, is that a design or is that where the, uh, the vents are? Up here? It's a yeah. design. Yeah. Oh, nice. I love how it has dimension to the ceiling. I really like that. I did notice that, um, a lot of Vegas homes have fans. Um, well, because it's so hot out here, right guys? But they make their fans, their ceiling fans look so nice. Mm -hmm. It's not like back in LA where it's your grandma's house. This is a really nice ceiling fan. It looks expensive. All right, let's take a look at the master. This bed, look at that. I have not seen a bed like this before. Um, usually you see it with just 
four of the poles and then it goes across like a square but I really like how this kind of has its own little design it's really good spacing look how big this master bathroom is oh yeah see anytime you add those glass doors it becomes luxury this is beautiful and then it has large mirrors from one side of the wall to the other with a vanity space in the middle that is every girl's dream come true right there. Look at that, they got a little mini golf course in the back. Some nice two-tone astral turf, which is really, really cool. Oh, this is made just for putting. That is nice. Okay, and the pool is gorgeous with a spa. One thing that caught me right now about the pool is actually those floating chairs. How are they floating? I don't know. Let's go see how they're floating. Check it out. All right. Is it because it's just leaning on this? Is it gonna fall in? No, they are floating chairs. How cool is that? Why have I not seen this before? This is what you call an infinity spa. So you can't really, uh, it's got like an endless water stream coming down, which is really cool. I like that. It's got waterfall effect almost on 360 of the spa. That's so cool. Can you see it? Very quiet adds a nice little sound I like that another thing that I noticed you would never think that we need a heater in Vegas but right there they installed a patio heater so you know it gets cold I have seen in some areas it does snow so I can't wait to see that all right what are we singing today guys minion song, minion song? yes how about we sing your favorite one okay all right Alexa play Lizzo it's about damn time. Baby. It's coming. Here we go. Say thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. And say goodbye. Thank you, goodbye. Say thank you. Thank you. Say I love you. I love you. Oh, I, I want to is to be close to you, but I don't know how. So shy.